In this tutorial, I will show you how to apply a drop shadow onto text. We're going to do simple drop shadows. I'm going to show you three different kinds of drop shadows. Uh, like for example, here, that's the first drop shadow with an offset. And this one is drop shadow with an angle. And this one is the shadow um, to make the text, like it's like floating effect. And this one is also a shadow effect, but it has a an illusion that the text is glowing. You're going to learn about that. And lastly, I'm going to show you how to copy the effects of a drop shadow. Okay, so we're going to start to, to do the first uh, drop shadow here. So I already created the text in here. And uh, so I... I select it and then I go to my drop shadow interactive drop shadow which you can see or you can locate in this this is the icon for the drop shadow I'm going to do it again so click of interactive drop shadow and click and drag now in here I can I can drag the offset Okay, so that's the distance and you would notice that the distance would be in here. And if I want to make it darker, I can just click on the slider and make it darker like that. Okay, so I'll just make it this way. Okay, so that's the first uh, drop shadow. And the second one is it has an angle. So what I normally do, what I'll do, I'll just copy this one. Plus sign in your keyboard and then bring it down. So I have a duplicate without uh, an offset. In Corel Draw, you can actually separate the drop shadow to your text. So once I click on the, the drop shadow, in here you can remove the clear the drop shadow. See, I clear that to so no drop shadow. I'm going to do undo again. I'm going to undo it but my objective is to to separate the drop shadow from the text so what you do is you go to arrange and click on break drop shadow group apart so once you click on that you're going to have a separate drop shadow okay. now since we're doing this effect an angle drop shadow what I'm going to do I'm just going to move it there Okay, and then the sh uh, the shadow is still selected. I click one more time, and you would see this icon here. I can skew it that way, and click again, and I can bring it down or resize the drop shadow. Then I can do I can adjust the drop shadow. So now I have an angle drop shadow. Now the third one here is okay, so creating drop shadow and this is also the same as the second one wherein I separate the drop shadow. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate this plus sign in your keyboard and bring it down. Okay. So once again I'm going to separate the drop shadow by going to arrange break Sorry, I click on this one first. Make sure that the drop shadow is, is selected. Go to Arrange, Break Drop Shadow Group Apart. Now I can separate the drop shadow. Now this, the last one is, uh, I mean the third one is really easy. I would just resize it like that. Okay. So it's just an illusion that it's the shadow is in the bottom like this the text is floating and uh, if I want to adjust the transparency of the drop shadow I can go back to my drop shadow here and uh, I can I can adjust the transparency so I'll make it more transparent that way so now it's like the text is floating. 
Now the third one is the creating an illusion of uh, glowing effect. So I'm going to duplicate this one and I'm going to bring this down plus on your keyword to duplicate and bring it down here okay I have to bring it to front of the the blue box so I go to arrange order to front of page okay, okay. now if I want to to make a glow effect on this drop shadow it's the same thing I would go to my interactive drop shadow okay click and drag okay. now I can adjust the transparency now instead of black here I can change it to white okay but you won't see it until you click on this one and make it normal there. Then you can separate the drop shadow by going to arrange break shadow group apart. And you can move since it's separated already, you can move the or you can resize the the shadow. Now you can see it's like it's glowing. If you're not satisfied with the uh, transparency, you can always no less than the transparency or make it more transparent but that's how you do the glowing effect okay we forgot to include the outline but I'm gonna add some outline here okay now going back here let's say you have you wanted a particular drop shadow uh, a particular drop shadow that was applied here let's say I'm going to type in here okay so here's my my text and I'll just make it like that and let's say I'll make it orange and I'll put an outline right mouse click on this one to make an outline make the outline thicker okay now if I want to copy the properties of the, this drop shadow, okay, instead of making another drop shadow and then matching it, okay, so what I do, I just click on the text that I want to apply the drop shadow, and I go to effects, um, copy effect. So copy effect, click on drop shadow from, and I just click on the drop shadow, and there you go. So this property of the drop shadow is the same as this one now. 